Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm at a beautiful location. I'm here in Izu Peninsula once again. Uh, I've never been to this particular beach here. Uh, you need to walk a little bit on a steep road to come here, so there's not many people around, which is really, really good. And I'm looking forward to scout this location uh, and to see if I can take a couple of nice shots. Uh, today, I don't have my usual camera. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but I did sell my Nikon D850 after using it for almost six years, a really long time, and I did love that camera. Uh, but I thought it was time for a change. So today I'm here with no camera, or at least with no digital camera. So today's video is going to be slightly different than usual, because today we are going to use this beauty here. A really old Olympus OM2 35mm film camera with a really nice 50mm 1.4 lens attached. Uh, I do have a couple of rolls of Acros too, which is my favorite film. And today we're going to try and shoot some long exposures with this beauty here. So a couple of limitations. I only have one lens. I only have 36 frames in my roll. And uh, as you can see, the weather is not great. But yeah, uh, I'm just happy to be here and looking forward to try some film photography because it's been a while. So yeah, I'm going to look for a nice spot, load some film into the camera, and start shooting. So I believe I just found my first composition here. It's probably not the greatest composition of all times, but I think it, it might work. I like this uh, rock popping up towards the sea with all this uh, green on it, and then it's leading to this big rock in the sea. So I'm trying to frame it with this thing here. Uh, try to consider only the center of the frame, because of course, as usual, I'm gonna crop to a square. And of course, it's not that easy if you're using film because you cannot see what the image will actually look like. But it's probably gonna be fine. At the moment, I'm at F8, uh, focused on infinity, which should be good enough to get everything uh, sharp and in focus. Uh, I have 100 as a film in here, so I want to see what the shutter speed will be, and then from there I'm going to calculate um, the exposure time when using ND filters. I think I'm going to use probably 10 stops, or maybe even 15 stops, so I can get all the water uh, really still, really white, and make for a more minimal image. So let's try and calculate the exposure time here. I have to use my phone. So I'm 100 F8. And if I check the sky and the rock, we should be around 1 over 500 of a second. So it's a really fast shutter speed. I reckon if I use probably 15 stops, uh, it might give me something in the realm of maybe three or four minutes for a long exposure. Uh, but I'm going to calculate that just in case. As I showed you probably in a, in a previous video, I'm using this uh, calculator for long exposure on film made by this photographer called Denis Olivier, or Oliver. Uh, sorry if I butchered your name. And uh, it gives me everything that I need 
to calculate the exposure. So I know that this one is Acros 102, which is the new Acros from Fujifilm. The speed is 1 over 500 a second, aperture f8, 5 stop plus 10 stop, so 15 stops. Let's calculate. Hmm. It's supposed to be just one minute, which is faster than I imagined. So let's give it a try. So let's double check that the frame is the framing is okay and everything is in focus. Then I'm gonna cover my viewfinder with some uh, black tape, just in case. So you don't get any light leaks. And this should do. Five stop plus 10 stop. So 15 stops. All right, spray and pray. All right, first shot in the bag. I don't think it was a great shot, but you know, the first shot is always good to get you going. It's always the most difficult one, at least for me, because you have to set everything up, uh, set yourself up mentally to do something, and then you actually do it. And then after that, it's all downhill, at least I hope. So yeah, uh, I'm moving on. There's another trail here that probably goes to another beach. So I'm just gonna keep walking. Hopefully it's not too far. Uh, see what we can see. And if there's anything good, we're gonna shoot another couple of pictures. So I believe I found a couple of potential shots here. Uh, the first one is uh, these rocks. Uh, in the water with all the waves splashing on them and I really like uh, this composition because they're really simple um, the water is pretty rough so it's making like whitewash over the rocks which I really like it should really look good uh, with a little bit of a long exposure and then I really like the the coastline here in the front that could work as a leading line or a framing for the shot and then the other one that I want to try and shoot is the far away cliffs there in the distance. Uh, they're kind of backlit at the moment, so everything is pretty easy, which I think is really nice. Looks really, really good. And the sunlight is reflecting uh, over the water. So yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work with a long exposure and I don't know if 50 mil is enough, but that's everything I have, so I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna try a couple of shots. First the cliffs, and then the cliffs in the far distance. Should be fun. Okay. Another couple of shots in the bag. Let's keep moving. Uh, there is another trail. Hopefully this is going back to my, to my car, to the parking lot, I'm not sure. I didn't shoot film for a couple of months and uh, I have to say it's really hard, especially when it comes to long exposure photography because you really don't know what to expect. You really don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, and I mean, that's the fun part as well, because you never know what you're going to get. But when you're there on location and try to get good shots, it can be really hard. But anyway, uh, I still have some shots in my row, so hopefully 
I'm gonna be able to go back to my car, and then move to a different location, uh, take another couple of shots, and then probably I'm gonna call it for today, because uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm walking a lot, and I am shooting a lot, and it's getting really hot. Last location for today. The sun is still pretty high, but I'm pretty tired, so this is gonna be our last location for today. Uh, I've shot this place many times before. Of course, always on digital. Uh, I kind of like it. It's not super beautiful, these two rocks. Uh, depending on where you shoot them from, they can be really nice or they can be really boring. Anyway, I like this, uh, this composition here. And I'm trying to decide if to include these two uh, rocks in the foreground or not. Uh, I'll probably try a couple of shots uh, with and without. Uh, all the scene is still a little bit backlit. I think the sun goes down there. So uh, it might be a little bit tricky to expose this properly. But film is usually uh, easier uh, to shoot with in these conditions than digital. So it should be okay. Uh, I'll set it up and then I'll explain you my shot. So I came a little further down uh, this way because I want to keep the main rocks in the middle of the frame uh, just in case I crop this and I probably will, because I like square. So I'm really back now, and I should be far away, just enough to get the rocks in the middle. Ideally, I would like to be even further away, but that's probably too much, and there's not so much space in there. So yeah, ideally I would like to have a shorter, like a wider lens, but I don't. So. Let's stick with this. Uh, I am focusing to infinity, F11. Let me double check that. F11, I covered my finder. 15 stops. Uh, the light didn't change uh, from earlier today, so uh, we're still looking at about one minute, give or take. So let's try this. Right, that was the last shot for today. Uh, I don't know if any of these pictures came out uh, well or if they, if they came out at all, because it's all film, so you never know what's gonna happen, but that's, I guess, part of the fun of shooting film. Anyway, if I got any nice shots, you're gonna see them uh, at the end of this video. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Hi there, Francesco from the future here. No, your display is not broken. What you're seeing now is my developed roll of film. I know, nothing there, right? I have no idea what happened, but the roll came back from the lab completely not exposed. There's absolutely nothing on it. Here is a picture of the actual developed film, and as you can see, it's completely transparent. I really have no idea what happened here. Maybe the camera was broken, the shutter release didn't work properly, or maybe it just messed up when I loaded the film. The only thing that I know is I spent two days shooting outside and came back with no images at all. I guess it happens. This is the other side of shooting film. Am I upset? Not really. Of course, I was looking forward to see these shots I took in the field. But for me, photography is not only about the actual images, but so much more about being out with my camera, enjoying nature. And I can tell you this, I had a lot of fun in those two days. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon.